Next up, Secretary Schrute will read the minutes from Sunday's meeting. Minutes from previous meeting of Knights of the Night. No, Jim, hey. Oh. This meeting is for Knights of the Night only. Knights of the Night are volunteer crime patrollers. We're often compared to the Guardian Angels, but we could not be more different from them. Seriously, we are nothing like the Guardian Angels. I mean, broad strokes purposes, sure. Think Guardian Angels. One of our many recent good deeds, we set out to capture the Scranton Strangler. What are you gonna do? Mission accomplished. Not by us. I'm actually just looking for my Blackberry, so carry on. No, 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 no. I see how this movie ends. You make fun of me, everyone laughs, ha, 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 screw you. Dwight, don't be bothered by your friend's presence. What are you gonna do now? Are you gonna make fun of our leader's weird voice, huh? Dwight, don't be bothered by blah, 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 blah. Over the line, Jim. I'm just looking for my phone, so pretend I'm not here. Fine. Minutes from previous meeting of Knights of the Night. It's our official name, Jim. Sounds good. Reflective strips were glued to patrol jackets. Knights went outside with flashlights to test them. Smart. And the rest was just boilerplate stuff that's... Go ahead and read it. Some people weren't here. Okay. Knights stayed outside to play flashlight tag. Oh, come on. That sounds awesome. It was pretty cool. Was it? <laughs> it was fun. It was, it oh. was pretty awesome. Oh! <laughs> hey! Yeah. No, I got it. Just leaving now. Sorry, oh. mate. Oh, sorry, mate. Excuse oh. me. Mate. <laughs> what, are you doing? what are you doing? English? Dude, you're are taking you... the Mickey you picked on the wrong person. No, 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 that no. Right. I'm not picking on you yeah. at all. Oh, you're English, doing? correct? Yeah, big time, yeah. I'm yeah. working on an English character. Would you mind I'm. It's called Reginald Poofda. Oh, <laughs> David Brent, my liege. How are you? <laughs> Michael Scott. Oh, bloody hell. I, I do characters as well. I'm, I've, got a, I've got a Chinese fella, not politically correct, but he's called Holy That's <laughs> what it sounds like. <laughs> You can't do that these days. I can't. Mean, no, 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 no. And people don't understand that it has nothing to do with making fun of a, of a different nationality. No, 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 no. Comedy is a place where the mind goes to tickle itself. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That's good. Oh, Pleasure you, to meet you. Where are you working? Dunder Mifflin. Any jobs going? No, not right now. Just let me know. All right. See you around. Bye-bye. Yeah. A nice guy. Everybody, can I please have your attention? Ryan and I have a huge announcement. Oh my gosh! Wow. Over the weekend, Ryan, Bailey, Howard, and I got divorced. Sweet. Free ring! Divorced? Just so you know, it's totally amicable. We're fine. We don't need people here to take sides. The last thing that we want is any kind of drama. Wait, I, can you back up? What's the story? We were having a beautiful weekend in the Poconos. We were making love constantly. We saw the sun rise. You know, Ryan was crying a lot. It's not a relevant detail. And in the morning, we walked by a chapel, and we stopped suddenly, and Ryan said, I don't, I don't think, think I should be married, married to you anymore. Wait, what? Wow. Sorry, when did you get married? Um, like a week ago. We got really wasted and just felt right. You didn't invite any of us? We are getting divorced, Andy. This is such a raw time. God, baby, you know, with people's reactions to this, I wonder if we made a mistake. No. With the messed up laws in this country, I don't want to be married until everyone can be married. You know what, Ryan? I talked to the other gay guys, and we're okay with it. We all agreed it's fine for you to get married. No, no, Oscar, not, not until everyone can. Ryan, I changed my mind. Okay, fine. You know what? This actually isn't amicable at all, and we actually do need people to take sides. Who's on my side? And who is on my side? Hey, how you doing? I've been thinking about my grandmother a lot. Yeah. She was about to turn 97. At least she lived a very long and I'm sure a very happy life. Hmm. Got you this card. When you're ready, we all signed it. We just wanted you to know we're thinking about you. Thank you. Congratulations, Daryl. Let's get wasted. Have fun today, big guy. Oh, yeah, party time. Whoop, whoop. It's possible that some people thought it was your birthday. Hooray, live it up, big D. Days like this don't come often enough. Time to celebrate. You deserve this? <laughs> 
<laughs> Birthday punches! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I got a delivery for you. Leave it at reception. I'm supposed to deliver this one in person. After three years of writing, one year of shooting, four years of reshooting, and two years of editing, I have finally completed my movie, Threat Level Midnight. I have the best stocked survival shelter in northeastern Pennsylvania, but everything has a shelf life, so I must eat and then replace everything that's about to expire. It's nice not to have to plan my meals. You're eating eight-year-old tomatoes. They're still good for another week. You know, I think I might have some type of cheese in the back of my fridge you might like. I've got some cheese you might like, too, in between my toes. Hardy <laughs> <laughs> har har. All right, picture this. Snowy ash drizzles from the sky. A rabid pack of dogs surrounds you as the flame at the end of your stick dies out. There's only one hope left for you, the door to my shelter. You pound, you beg, Dwight, please let me in. But I ignore your cries and do not let you in. You want to know why? Because of the sign that says no pounding, no begging. No because you laughed at me. Kevin will be eaten. Pam will be taken slave. Jim will be made a warlord's jester. Meredith will do okay. Be assured, this day will come. It's just a matter of time. Could be one month, could be two months. Three months. Could be. Four months. I can see that happening, yes. Eight months? That's a realistic timeline. 11 months. Perhaps. Okay, wait, now really think hard about this one. One year. I could see that as a very real possibility. 494 months. I could see that happening. 495 months, that's just... Hey, Oscar, Big Will and Grace fan, huh? No. Everybody assumes I am. I always get them as gifts. Oh. Dunder Mifflin is having our first ever garage sale. Like many Americans, we realized we had a lot of things that we didn't really need. And 10 cents of every dollar is going into the party fund so we can throw parties for ourselves. People, look alive. It's showtime. Doors open in three, two, one. Ooh, yikes. It's cold, Dwight. Just shut the door and let people Dwight, come in the front. It's, it's good that it's cold. It will drive business inside. The signs will drive business inside. The warmth will lure people inside. This is how business. I'm not closing the door. No business. Stop it. Just go. Kalua sombrero, please. All right. So just you tonight. Actually, I am meeting somebody, but I'm a little bit early. Leaving my company after 19 years. I'll drink to that. I'm starting at a company this week. Oh, really? To beginnings and endings. And to middles, the unsung heroes. And to moms. The moms of the troops. Mm. Do not tell my fiance I'm drinking on a Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. I don't know her. Moving out to the burbs. Actually, I'm moving further than the burbs. Moving to Colorado. Colorado? Yeah. Sunshine State. Yep. Don't mess with Colorado. No. Doing some skiing? No, no, I don't want to end up like Sonny Bobo. Well, that's just, that's just good sense right there. Yeah. Everyone I know who skis is dead. You know what? I would like to try the luge, though. Try it once. You're hooked. That's my guess. That's what I've heard. I'm an Olympics nut. Oh, yeah? Me too. Summer or winter? Summer. Summer. Oh. <laughs> Knuckle. Actually, I got to come around again. Yeah, come on. You know, it's funny. I actually... I tried to get an Animal Olympics going. Really? What happened? You know, life happened. What are you gonna miss most about Scranton? 
Oh, wow. The mountains, mm -hmm. where things are. Mm -hmm. It's the way it goes. Man, he is late. I'm gonna call him. Do you mind? I'm sorry. No, no, no. Where is this guy? <laughs> Excuse me. Hello, this is Michael Scott. Yes. Hi. Yes. Are you running late? I'm no, I'm here. I'm oh. right. I'm at the bar. I'm at the bar too. You are. Uh -huh. What bar? I'm at the the bar the bar that's located in the lobby of the hotel. I do not see you. How long have you? I've been here about, gosh, over half an hour. Okay. Yeah. Me too. Sorry. Sorry. What are you wearing? I am wearing a gray suit, red tie. Are we both at the right or place? Which place? I hear would, your voice. I hear your voice. I, I see your, your lips voice moving. In and the phone. oh, and brother. that's oh, man. <laughs> oh, uh, Michael Scott. D'Angelo Vickers. Wow, uh, that is insane. <laughs> that, is insane. <laughs> that is insane. Is right. That's the right term. Bartender, let's get some vodka up in this cranberry and one for my friend. Ready? I am All ready. Right. Here we go. Well, this is it. What do you think? She'll do. Oh, she'll do just fine. <laughs> I am very much looking forward to tomorrow. Uh, it is, uh, uh, feels like the culmination of a lot of hard work, a lot of good fortune, and... Uh, <laughs> Come on. Did that? Did that just happen? <laughs> we should write a movie or something. I'm serious. It is 6 a.m. <sighs> and D'Angelo and I are about to go house to house to give everybody their Dundee's nomination certificate, just like the Oscars. Yes. And this happens every year. Every year, year okay. this happens. Year. You have a lot to learn, my friend. <laughs> well, you know, why don't we try it? And if it goes, if it goes good, it'll be part of my tradition. Why are you even saying that? You're gonna love it. Here we go. This way, this way. Oh, nice house. Congratulations! Surprise! Yep. Okay. You and Pam have both been nominated for Dundee Awards. Okay. Wow. There we go. Have Pam come down. No, no, she's not here. Okay, What's I'm gonna get on? you a cell phone. Stay in bed. Congratulations. Stanley, you. Have you lost your mind? Get off my property before I call the police. All right, okay. you got it. Good. Leave it at the door? Or... Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Hey, Toby, you suck. Is this an employee of ours? <laughs> Why go, go, you... go, 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 go. Never seen this place in the daylight. This reminds me of Katrina. Here we go. All right. Got it? Yeah. Set. Hello. Oh. Uh -oh. I'm so busted. Walk of shame. Do you, do you usually leave your door unlocked and ajar? Oh, nice. I got a Dundee nomination. Yes, yes you did. Wow. That's right. No big deal. Resolution, yeah. Meredith. All right. Well, you should head out. No, 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 you gotta stay. No, 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 I have Vienna sausages and I have napkins. Uh, uh, let me fix your breakfast. I'm not going in there. Well, I'm moving to Colorado to start my new life with Holly. Just up here, getting used to the altitude. Michael? Yes. I've got a treat for you. Oh, thank you. Like a butler. Colorado specialty, Rocky Mountain oysters. Oh, those do not taste like oysters. That's because they're not oysters. They're bull testicles. Oh. I cut them off fresh this morning. <laughs> ha! Sick freak. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? I'm the sick freak? Yeah. After what you did, you expect to be buttled? After Listen, you didn't recommend me? Wait, I don't own Dunder Mifflin, okay? The job was not mine to give. Look, I need your advice on something. I am told that there are bears in the Rockies. Where did you hear that? Obvious XM radio? Well, I was just thinking 
that maybe I should keep a salami in my pocket. Great idea. In order to feed the bears. Especially if you think that life would be better without legs. How do you mean? Black bears can smell a salami at five miles, Michael. What are you thinking? And they run faster than a horse. So if you were thinking about outrunning them on a horse, I would try a cheetah. You, in tight pants, Michael, are a salami to a black bear. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like a giant walking salami. Okay, so no salami in the pants. How about a pepperoni? Any kind of meat you can possibly name. Okay. So, coasting time is officially over. Big changes are coming, and they're coming fast. And if you don't like them, this is called a door. You can walk right through it. All right? I'm not here to be your friend. I like my life outside of this place. I live to leave at five. Change number one, Daryl, per your request, the company is sending you to business school at night. Full ride, deal with it. Seriously? Stone cold seriously. They are trying to figure me out and I don't like it. Once they figure me out, they start to tell me what I want to hear. And I need to quickly figure out who's a good worker and who is simply a good mind reader. Because as soon as I'm hearing what I want to hear, I'm not going to care. Change two. Toby, you're getting a new chair. Thanks. Don't thank me. Hey, don't thank me, guy. Okay? And I don't care if you like it. These sound like good ideas. Why wouldn't we like them? I don't care what your favorite flavor is. Here's a bowl of ice cream. You either like it or you don't. That's my attitude right now in this room. That's my attitude on Ice Cream Thursdays. All right? Clear? Any questions? Th this all sounds great to me. But I could see how some people might think that they're bad. I don't know what to think. That is a st an astute observation, Kevin. Kev's got me pegged. <laughs> We could get D'Angelo flowers. No, you can't get flowers for someone who's in a coma. They'll wilt before he wakes up. Mm. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Good point. All in favor of the baskets full of chocolates, teddy bears, and balloons. Wait, wait. All in favor of the knapsack filled with canned goods, chainsaw, gasoline, and emergency radio in case he wakes up post-apocalypse. Nope, baskets have it. So as it turns out, unless you're a young child or a prison inmate, you don't need anyone supervising you. People just come in and do their work on their schedule. Imagine that, people like us allowed to sell paper, unsupervised, and yet somehow it works. Must be because the stakes are so high. Well, I really appreciate the offer, but I'm just happy the way things are. Okay, thank you. That was Joe asking me if I wanted to take over as acting manager while they find a replacement. But I told her, I don't wanna mess this up, right? There's a consensus, people are happy. White fruit. Yes, I would. Thank you. Jordan, gather my things from my desk. Wait. guess where I am right now. It's a beautiful morning at Dunder Mifflin. As I like to call it, Great Bratton. Keep it running. Do I love being manager? I love my kids. I love real estate. I love ceramics. I love my job. I, I love wrestling. Find out what language this is. Okay, team building. On this side of the room, Stanley, Phyllis, Jim, Ted, Elroy. And on this side of the room, Pam, Meredith, Phyllis, Creed. He never called a meeting. Bo body, Bo body. 
What does the first B stand for? What are we doing? We're making acronyms. Okay, what does the first B stand for? Um, business. I like it. Business, good, Kevin. All right, the O. We need a new manager.